Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'll do, I will be starting uh, the new series on Salesforce uh, Certified AI Specialist. Now, those of you who are attending my Flow series might be wondering, am I not going to cover any more Flow stuff? No, that's, that's not the case. I'm still committed to complete that Flow series, which is very important. Obviously, I love Flow, so I wanted to teach people about Flows. Um, but this is... Uh, this certification has been is is making a lot of noise, and obviously, you know, you all guys have an opportunity to take it for free. Um, but that being said, right, and I have seen people, even at the place where I work, right, uh, people are not really comfortable going to the trailhead and and doing something which they are not very aware of because AI is a pretty um, new to a lot of people. Yes, it's been in in the space for it's in the tech space, right? So not in the other space, uh, in the tech space for a long time, right? Like I started uh, artificial intelligence when I was at MIT. I built some of the compilers there. I played with neural network a lot. So early two thousand, right? So it was a pretty pretty good experience. So I've been in this space for a long time, but. Um, and I have built my uh, some of the climate change models. Uh, last year, I used Langchain. Uh, so this this course is not all about right. So sorry, I digress. So, but the reason why I wanted to do right because I haven't taken this third yet. I mean, if I'll be very honest with you, I'm planning to take on November. But I just want you guys to, if you wanted to follow along, right? Wanted to, you know. Uh, study with me and I can teach you guys uh, and then we can get our oh, certified right that's that's something I haven't done that before like because usually I teach course which I'm certified <laughs> but this is the first time I'm teaching something which I'm um, which I, I have played around and but I haven't uh, deep dived into the very, very nitty gritty stuff because some of the stuff are new and this course do not require you to know a lot of things, right? Okay, so enough of rant, let's get into it, right? Now, why should you be doing the certification to begin with? The first first reason is free at this stage, right? Uh, depending upon which time of the year you're watching, uh, this is um, September 27 um, and Salesforce is offering this uh, September 27, 2024. And Salesforce is um, offering this uh, cert for free for whatever time duration, right? Now, as usual, this is our you know usual tradition. Before I cover the entire cert, I need to talk about the exam guy, right? Which is very important. Now, obviously, there is an expectation that when you are going to pair for a Salesforce AI specialist, like every Salesforce cert, that you need to know certain things, right? Uh, the few things, right, you need to know about LLMs, the large language model, which is getting very, very popular. Um, <clears throat> so, and then the prompts and models and tools. And obviously, you need to have an understanding of the Salesforce ecosystem, right? A little bit around, you know, how to navigate your way uh, into the platform, then it will be good to have some knowledge about um, Einstein functionalities like Salesforce email, service replies, work summary, copilot builder, prompt builder, model builder, and uh, capacity to implement and customize this feature, right? Um, you should also have, you know, some of the understanding about uh, machine learning, what machine learning is about, what supervised learning is about, what unsupervised learning is about, what reinforcement learning is about, a little bit about the natural language processing, where it is used, why natural language has become so much of popularity, thanks to ChatGPT. Um, then computer vision, that's one of the uh, important aspects if you are dealing with images, right? And then obviously the Salesforce trusted AI principles in CRM system. The Salesforce has an AI trust layer and you can leverage that functionality to um, to understand, um, you know, obviously uh, how the trust layer is built because the data is the most important part, right? Because when you're deal when you're talking about artificial intelligence, the most important part we're dealing with is the data, and it's very important that your data is um, the data privacy is maintained, right? Because you're dealing with customer data, you're dealing with people data, so it's important to have the trust layer on top of the data you're going to train your model on, right? 
Okay, now uh, we also talk about the data quality, preparation, cleansing, governance and AI model, right? All the stuff you need to know. Um, so obviously, you know, you're not expected to know anything about Python. You don't need to know PyTorch or TensorFlow. No one going to test your knowledge on this topic. You're not even expected to know the detailed algorithms around machine learning. No one will ask you uh, to explain, you know, linear regression or logistic regression or, you know, sigmoid functions. No one will ask you any of the stuff for this certification, right? But if you, if you have an understanding, that's really good, right? Um, and also, you know, no one will ask you to... Uh, you know, explain about transformer architecture, um, so which is which forms the foundation of the Gen AI, right? And also, you know, no one will ask you to, you know, know about you know Slack or Marketing Cloud, right? Okay, so that's in in general, in nutshell, right? The kind of expectation, because I I hope that's clear. I said the expectation, right? This all the things you should know, right? Like I said, a few things you need to know, a few things you don't have to worry about at this stage. It's good if you know, that's your personal choice if you wanted to uh, enhance your knowledge, but uh, for this course, you don't, right? So about the exam, 60 multiple choice questions, like usual, uh, 105 minutes, 73 is a passing score. I understand the bar is a bit higher. Uh, but you need to appreciate the fact that, right, you know, artificial intelligence is a popular topic in today's time, right? And many wants to get certified. So obviously Salesforce needs to lift the bar a bit higher. Yep. And uh, it's usual price. I think it's 200 bucks. Like I said, uh, now it's free uh, for whatever duration. Salesforce wants to do that. So it's a great opportunity if you're listening today. Um, and it's 100 bucks, yeah? Now, obviously, training and resources, I'll teach you guys, right? We'll do some hands-on, you know, we'll talk about scenarios and all, all kind of good things, right? Okay, let's look at the exam outline, what all things you need to know. Einstein trust layer. Like I said, trust layer is very important, right? Because you need to understand the security, privacy, and grounding features, right? So it's 15%, which is a significant portion, but it's very important, right? And then you need to know about generative AI, which is 17%, right? Obviously, uh, you need to know about the, some of the uh, governance features, sorry, uh, some of the features associated with Einstein for sales, Einstein for service, right? Because having an understanding about how does Einstein fit in service cloud, where does Einstein fit in your service, uh, sorry, sales cloud, and they might give you a use case scenarios, and based on that, you need to figure out your uh, answer, right? Then we have Prompt Builder, which is 37%, quite a significant number, uh, because prompt engineering is very famous, right? Your chat GPT is one classic example. Uh, your GPT, right? Uh, that is also a classic example. And I have done uh, a video on prompt engineering, LLM, transform architecture, copilot. I will share with you in the link, right? Uh, I would highly encourage you guys to check that out. It's very important. It explains some of the basic stuff. What is artificial intelligence? What is prompt engineering? Uh, what are BERT um, models and kind of stuff, right? It, it's it's quite a uh, high level, so it's not very detailed, so you will not get overwhelmed. Uh, I would highly encourage you to check that out, right? So like I said, 37%, they will ask you scenario-based question, maybe uh, around creating a template, right? Um, and also around um, um, where do we use the prompt builder? Then we have Einstein Copilot. Um, it's you might be given a business scenarios, and and based on that you might need to answer. It's twenty three percent, and also the how to manage and <clears throat> excuse me, uh, monitor Copilot's application. Then you have Model Builder, which is very good. In Salesforce, you can bring your own model. If you have an LLM model, uh, you can build it. You can bring it, which is good. Uh, because you you might be a geeky person who wants to build your model on PyTorch, right? And you wanted to use it. So you can do that. Now, these are the most important thing I wanted to talk about. Now, like I said, right, this is a very exciting certification. Now, if you're new to AI, don't worry about it, right? Because it's not going to test your programming skills. It's not going to test your 
AI algorithm skills. You're not going to test your deep learning skills, right? Or neural network skills. But that being said, if you're curious, I would highly encourage you to learn it, right? Uh, because if this is an opportunity. We are in the uh, we are on the doorstep of the next stage of um, the tech revolution, and I would highly encourage you to learn. You know, if you have an opportunity to machine learning and deep learning, right? Not for the cert, but after doing the cert, if you are curious. So yeah, so and as usual, you know the the code of the conduct for Salesforce certification. You can do it at home, or you can go to any uh, pro, uh, certified centers. Right. So and yeah, that's that's pretty much I wanted to cover and we will I will get into the deep dive from the next episode. And yeah, and all the best of you guys uh, with the certification. Uh, thank you.